All right, folkies, this is uh, part two of my Saturday. Let me see if I can get this up here. I do have a little windscreen, so see. You shouldn't get any wind whatsoever, but sometimes you can't hear me too well because I'm like eating the microphone, trying to actually, literally eating it, trying to, look at this bike. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Sorry, got a little distracted there. I'm just gonna focus on trying to lean properly, uh, do turns properly, kind of practice as I'm driving, which is pretty much what you're supposed to do in the first place. So here we go. I have to tell you, this is an amazing microphone. If I lose this on the highway, I will cry. Let me start this baby up. Um, they did give it an oil change. What do you think of that pipe? By the way, it's a dual pipe. It comes out both sides. People don't see that, but that is that is in fact the case. There's a pipe on either side. Yeah, uh, Harley um, could not figure out how to put on my new headlight, uh, uh, not headlight, uh, turn signals, LED turn signals, which they were supposed to match. I gotta watch the dirt and the gravel here, folks, but I've been loving leaning today. And unfortunately, you really can't get that with a chest camera. The chest mount is awesome in a lot of ways. Uh, the primary way, I think, is that I'm not making you seasick turning my head. Well, like, I just turned my head to the left and to the right, and you didn't have to feel that. You didn't have to be like, whoa, stop doing that. Stop moving your head, you know? It just stays in the center of the chest. You get a nice, right here is gravel. You get a nice, uh, Nice good feel, um, but the other thing is, you also don't get what I'm seeing to the left and to the right, and how I'm leaning, um, because I am leaning pretty significantly on some of these turns. Now, with all of them, like, look at this one, this is filled with gravel, look at that. Always good to know your area ahead of time. They just finally put a line on this road, on our back roads, there's some gravel for you. Uh, gravel and deer and little, little animals coming out are pretty much your main issues other than the fact that uh, man these pipes are so loud and beautiful I'm just going to shut up for a minute so you can hear them this bike uh, has incredible brakes on it too just incredible handling it's very light very nimble uh, I went to pull out of a grocery store parking lot today hold on shifts very smoothly too bumps um, but it's very very light very nimble Ooh. sorry my nose itches and just listen to these pipes man this is a Buell Lightning 1203 cc everybody misjudges it a thousand times over they look at it because it's a lower center of gravity and it's a very compact motorcycle designed to be very compact very track friendly is to me it's a super naked it's over a liter but they don't make them anymore and they don't make them anymore because sadly um, Eric Buell uh, went out of business well he and Harley parted ways when when this was made but then uh, he came back as EBR racing and even even that is not in existence anymore other than I think I don't know if the last bike they made was 2017 but there's a lot of uh, 2014's 2015's for sale 2015 was a crappy year um, 
Anyway, I'm being I'm being a little more cautious in this area. This is deer country, and um, what's hiding behind this green leafy area, which is beautiful, unfortunately, would be either cars like that, or see, he probably heard my he probably heard my motorcycle. A lot of people say, oh, these people with loud pipes, you know, they think it's there's there's deer. Did you see that? Did you see that? Wow. I uh, pray my husband doesn't hit that. Um, he's got my puppies in the car and him. I don't want but yeah, that was a beautiful deer, but I just wanted to stay off the road. We have a lot of deer around here. Beautiful area. Uh, and I'll get back to you shortly because I, I will be cutting out this part. Be right back. What do you think, Ellie? Do you want to stay with us, or do you want to go with Mama and Papa? Oh, I'm seeing a Mama and Papa look going on. Look at her. Oh, baby! Uh -huh. Go get your pop up. Hi, kid! Is she good? Let's get that crap out of your eyes. This is my nighttime helmet I'll be wearing. We're just dropping off some adorable packages. And then we'll be off and running. I love you, babies. Be good. Hi. Alright guys, we are back and off and running. Dropped off my babies if you can't tell. <laughs> now... Okay, that was really weird. I gotta move out of Chris's way. Love you babies! This is a cotton tree that is just covering the ground with um, uh, cotton. <laughs> yep, that's the sharp part of me. You know, not everybody can figure that out. Our trees in Pennsylvania are getting destroyed by lantern flies. Uh, if you've ever heard of the lantern flies, my nose itches, sorry. Um, they have been so destructive to Pennsylvania's beautiful trees. I mean, super destructive. And, uh, hold on, I'm waiting for my husband. He drives much slower than I do, but probably rightfully so. So here's a curve. That was nice. That wasn't too full of gravel. I'm going to slow down here because there's deer here. I'll just uh, let you see how this handles for a little bit, how it feels. I'm kind of trying to avoid things that I know are gravel, so don't panic if you see me go to the other side. It's something that you really have to practice if you're a new rider, or even if you're like me and you've been riding for, I don't know, 17 years now. Um, to me, every situation is new. So to me, every rider needs to act like they're, they are they need to remember what they learned when they were new. So, like, I'm constantly scanning to the left and to the right, especially because of the fact that we have deer and stuff like that here. But I'm also scanning the road for the gravel um, from the winter time, from when they put cinders down. Uh, and you can see it's all over. If you look, the camera should give you, if it's not giving you a clear view, then that's my fault because I didn't uh, load it properly uh, at the proper rate. So I apologize. Look at that. That's almost almost as quick as a quick shifter. I love, love, love this bike. I can't quite do that with the, with the Ducati. And the Ducati even has shorties on it. Short clutches on it. A, a short clutch, not clutches really love the the mirror choice I picked out for this when we did that we did that ourselves which believe me neither one of us is very mechanically inclined so I mean he is as a network engineer but when it comes to uh, this stuff not so much sorry got stuck there to the right of me you're gonna see the most famous ice cream shop try not to hit me people uh, see how back that is it is Plum Creek uh, ice cream creamery <clears throat> So I'm going to Berks County to from Berks County to uh, 
Lebanon County. And it looks gray. The skies look gray. Sorry if I'm yelling. It's just everything seems loud to me in this helmet. Oh, God bless those people. I hope they're okay. I hate to see that. I hate to see that. That means someone needs help. I mean, in the one hand, if you're that person waiting, you can't wait for them to get there, but yeah. God bless everybody. Be safe. Thank you, Jesus, for always watching over me. The great I am. Seriously, he protects me. You know, everything dumb I do, I, I do on my own, and he probably looks down at me and shakes his head like, come on, man. Come on, man. Do I have to always save your little butt every time? Your big butt every time? Yeah. So, this bike. Is it a bike that you could go long-term riding with? Yes. Thumbs up. Is it fast? Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. A whole bunch of thumbs up. It's 1203. It's got pipes on it that um, added a little bit more horsepower to it. I don't know how much, but um, it's insane. It's ridiculous. Uh, does it have agility? Well, that should speak for itself. Okay. Um, all hips, baby. All hips. Uh, in terms of the zero to sixty, I, I can't, I've never tried. I've never tried to clock it, but I can tell you that I can get up to to sixty in just a few seconds. I, I don't know how many. I don't want to say the wrong thing, but um, yes, it is a very comfortable, ergonomically driven bike, and that is my best. That is my thing, man. Like, if the bike doesn't have the great ergonomics, that your back, you can sit slightly forward or straight up. Well, not straight up. You can sit pretty much up, but you can also lay on the tank for the wind, because there's no wind protection at all. Um, I like to lay on the tank every now and then. Lie on the tank. If I'm being uh, correct with my grammar. even trying actually that was like a quarter throttle I was actually kind of worried about the deer <laughs> uh, you can call me a pussy if you want to I just I don't know I don't want to be splattered on the road and I don't want to ruin my bike as it is I, I take chances I should not take um, however you can see how fast it, it pulls on you I mean it'll throw you like right now it's throwing me back the helmet is actually lifting up off of me. So, and I definitely don't have my husband behind me anymore because, I mean, he's behind me somewhere. I just don't know where. My, my mind is like a rat that's just spinning around in a wheel, just so you know, or a mouse. So, if I go from one subject to another to another, I, I, I don't know if I have ADD or what, but I, I apologize. I was originally talking way back before the deer, um, you know, whether you're a new rider or, an old, or a more seasoned rider, you still have to remember the basics. For example, I am slowing down before this curve, I'm not using brakes, okay, I'm turning my head, I have my position, my body position, my head position, and I am focused on where I want to go, okay? And if you focus on where you want to go, I've shifted my weight. Oh, there's gravel again. Shifted my weight. Okay. And I focused on where I wanted to go. I just went around that gravel. So you have to get your body straightened out, get the right speed before you actually go into the turn. And you're actually gonna not engine brake like a lot of people do in turns. You actually wanna put the throttle on a little bit. Once you get through I guess you would call the apex of the turn where you can see uh, where your destination, where you're going. You can see that there are no cars in front of you. Um, and Moto Jitsu is, a, is really a good teacher of this, man. I learn a lot through his, through his stuff. I, or I, I should say I remember a lot and then I learn a lot as well. Um, this is a hill. I'm going to uh, just stop and wait for my husband here for a second and talk to you. 
But Moto Jitsu talks to you about not, um, you know, being focused on an object. Okay, when you're on a turn, you don't want to, you don't want to get into that. I forget what it's called because my mind is a blank right now. Focus. I don't know what the I forget the terminology for that, but where you're just like you're totally focused on one thing. If I focus on the rail, guess where my bike's gonna go? My bike's gonna go to the rail. That's where I'm gonna go. Right about here is where I'm gonna start focusing on the future. Okay, and that's when you, you know, halfway to three quarters through my turn, I'm gonna start rolling on the throttle more, not less. Um, because the bike loves to lean and the only way it's going to lean like right here we go the only way it's going to lean is if you have it going to the proper speed but one thing moto jitsu does point out in his video and I, and I have to agree with him is that slowing the bike down a little bit in the turn which i just did brought the bike back up again that's just as important shouldn't shift in the middle of a turn by the way I just did it because I felt bad for my bike <laughs> and I knew I could do it because I was going slow um, never shift in a sharp turn really the, the engines not doing what it needs to be doing to keep the bike upright one of the biggest things that gets us wrapped up is going around a turn like this and not focusing on where we want to go now I can pull on the throttle and focus down straight away. This is a fun road. like tomboy thing going on so I don't sound like a girl but normally I'd be like hi how you doing what's going on you know <laughs> and I get on here and I'm like so anyway <laughs> so how much wear and tear on the very edge of your tire determines how far you've leaned over on a consistent basis so the more wear and tear it actually puts a, a strip there on the side of your tire that shows that you're leaning stuff. I'm looking at it as, am I doing the proper leaning? Am I getting as far over as I should be? And based on my tires, yes, I would say absolutely, um, and then some. So considering I'm not on the track, considering that I'm on bumpy roads in the state of Pennsylvania, which is always under construction, always has gravel, has deer, these people poke. Um, <laughs> I say he's poking, he's doing the speed limit. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so, just some things to, oh man, I just got, I just had that terminology in my head and it, and it left me. Um, but it is one of the number one things that kills motorcyclists on, the, in the canyons and things like that, is, is being focused um, on something they shouldn't be focused on and not turning away from it. They need to focus on where they're turning. It's not object focus. I'll, I'll figure it out. Maybe by the end of this ride, I'll figure it out. I'm so sorry. But, uh, so yeah, 100% recommend this bike. However, you can't really find it unless you're getting a used one. And good luck getting a used one because fuel lovers are fuel lovers forever. Once you get one of these bikes, this bike feels like one with you on the road. No joke, which is exactly what Eric Fuel wanted. I didn't even know that. I saw an interview with him after I said that to my husband. I said, this bike and my mom. I said, I know you guys don't like me riding and ripping around the way I do, and, and I get it. I just can't help it. I feel like one with this bike on the road. It's just, it's just amazing. So, yeah. There we go. Um, to get around that guy but you know that's just 
how I feel about it. Uh, it's it's the lower center of gravity is just amazing. Uh, the shifting is very very smooth. The clutch is smooth. The brakes are incredible, and they are EBR brakes. Huge big bundle block in the front. One big cylinder in the front. That's incredible. I have never had to mess with the brakes in this bike ever. I've had to mess with the brakes in the Ducati Monster at least twice, and they're Brembo brakes. So. As much as I scream Brembo and I like Brembo brakes, Eric Buell's brakes, I'm sorry, they're, they're better than Brembo. Uh, he was a racer and he knew what he was doing when he made them. I don't know what to say. Uh, they are just my kind of brakes. I don't even always use the brakes because, you know, I try to do engine braking um, as much as possible or just slowing down. But, you know, in this situation, uh, I haven't, I have to say, I haven't had to replace them. However, I have had to replace uh, things on my Ducati. Now, my Ducati Brembos, I think they replaced the back pads. I can't remember. They were really, really soggy when you push down on them, you know, like you're in mud. There was no real good feel or grip to them. But, uh, I never had that with these. I never had that with Eric Buell. This is an XB12S. Um, if you can find one, they have a translucent engine. And, uh, another friendly rider. He looked like he was riding a Yamaha. Also good bikes. My very first bike was a Yamaha. It was an FCR 600 track bike. And, uh... Very, very unstable. Very back then, though, <clears throat> they weren't as they didn't get the fact that they had to make the bike lower center of gravity to make it better. They weren't really focused on the weight as much of the bike. So even though that was a little sport bike, it was freaking heavy, man. It was really heavy, and uh, that drove me nuts. Really drove me nuts. Really, my channel. Has, still hasn't gotten off the ground and I feel really bad about that um, I am NOT a youtuber every day in the sense of you know putting things up and trying to really push my channel I am more of a YouTube watcher so um, I watch a lot of channels including but not limited to motorcycle channels ASMR and my big one is true crimes um, cute little town um, right there is a restaurant called Daryl's uh, but it used to be a bar that's where uh, the husband from Kate Kate Nate uh, where he worked for a little while after that whole situation blew up I think I told you guys that once before a lot of famous people in this area this is Lancaster County Lebanon County area um, I believe we're in probably Lebanon County first uh, but Lebanon Levi, he lives uh, probably about 10 minutes from where I'm at right now, and we're getting closer to him. Um, he lives about two minutes from Chris's parents' house. Uh, you know, the guy from the Amish Mafia. So, Lancaster County is also known um, for the movie Witness with Harrison Ford in it. Remember that from back in the day? If you're wondering where I'm at, well, now you know. See, I didn't roll on that time until I knew there was nobody coming. And that was a pretty sharp turn. This is a very sharp turn as well. So I'm going to slow my roll a little bit here. Again, engine braking was key for that. And then I'm going to roll on. Fixate. Lots of people get screwed up when they're riding their bike because they, they fixate on objects. Like I might be looking at that house and all of a sudden there's gravel in the middle of the road and I totally miss it. Especially when you're going around a turn. Do not uh, do object fixating when you're going around a turn. You've got to focus. Motorcycling is, a, is, is mental exhaustion, really. If you're doing it correctly, it's, yeah, it's physical. Like right here, I'm going to lean, I'm going to focus on where I want to go. My head is turned, my body, my leg is out to the right, which you can't see. And now my bike is back up again didn't lean it too far over just enough to you know you don't have to get cocky I'm not on a track 
and I have to take into consideration that the track protections aren't here. Hi, Moo Cows. Moo. You know, they're not here for me, so I can't ride a, this bike like I would be able to on a track. It's plain and simple. I, I wanted to do the track day in New Jersey. Um, couldn't really afford it this year. I'm working a lot, and that's another reason why I'm not really pushing my channel. Um, I don't know how you guys get, like, a, all these subscribers, man. I, I just, I really don't get it, because, you know, it's not like uh, my videos are horrible. I think I have a really good camera. I have a Sony Action Cam 4K. Um, I have a Sony microphone hookup. And I try to give you a, a nice ride, you know? Um... I do want to test ride some motorcycles even though I'm not in the market to buy and I'm not interested in buying. Although I am a Patreon for Jared Campisi and uh, I am in the running for that X Diavel S. Jared Campisi used to live near here. Um, I, I don't know if you realize that or not, but he was in the Harrisburg area. Lancaster and Harrisburg are real close to each other and I go to Harrisburg for work all the time. In fact, I went to the Calp dealership where he bought his dad. That video where you see uh, them walking in and his dad was checking out bikes. Um, that was uh, that was where I went to look at my first XD Avales and uh, the Panigale. So anyhow, guys, I have to go. You have a wonderful Memorial Day. Please be safe on your bikes. Do not drink, do not drink and drive. Try not to stutter. <laughs> Do not drink and drive. Um, God bless those people who have uh, served for us. We love them. We love you. Peace out, folks. I am pulling into my in-laws' house, so I'm going to block this out. <laughs>